In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create professional titles, transitions, logos, and much more, with minimal effort and almost automatically. What's the secret? It's very simple. First of all, we need to know what a template is. A template is a pre-designed project with visual effects, animations, and settings ready to be customized to your liking and needs. There are templates for DaVinci Resolve, Premiere, After Effects, Final Cut. And in this video, I'll show you the best website to get these templates, Envato Elements. For example, let's quickly take a look at this animated titles template for DaVinci Resolve, so you can see how it works. In the description of this video, you'll find all the links to the effects we use, in case there's one that interests you. Let's get started. This template installs directly into DaVinci Resolve as animated titles. We go to the Effects tab, Section, Titles. And here, the animated titles will appear. It's important to note that the installation or usage may vary slightly depending on the template you use, but don't worry. It's not very complicated. Now you'll see how easy it is to customize these titles to your liking. We select the animated title we want to use and drag it to our timeline right above our video. Perfect. Adjust the size of the title to your liking and place it where you want, modifying the X and Y axis. It looks quite good in this part. Now, to customize the title and write your own text, Click on the Title tab. Here, we can modify each text of the title, just as you would with any text in DaVinci Resolve. As you can see, we have the lower text that says, For Project. We also have the upper title and the central title. There's no mystery. We just have to replace the text and write what we want. In the upper text, I'll put Discover New. In the middle part, I'll write Horizons. And at the bottom, we'll put Today. I'll adjust the position of the word Today on the edge, pressing the space key several times so that it's more centered. Perfect. Much better. We can change the font or color of the text to further personalize the title. And just by changing the text, we would already have a professional animated title for our video saving us from having to do all the animations in Fusion and create dozens of nodes. These types of templates save us a lot of time and work. Need transitions with a paper effect for a music video? I search for paper transitions on the Envato page, and there you go. I have hundreds of them. Need an intro with our logo and a glitch effect? We search, and in a few seconds, we have it. Any effect you need, you'll most likely find it. Okay. We've seen how to make animated titles. Next, let's learn how to create this logo with particle effects, a simple but eye-catching effect. Here's the DaVinci Resolve project with the template. As you can see, initially we have the base logo with the animation. It's time to customize it. The first step is to position the playhead above the Fusion clip and then go to the Fusion module. Upon entering the Fusion module, you'll see all these nodes that are necessary to create the particle effect. In other words, all the work is already done. We just need to replace the sample logo with our own. Here's the logo node. Now it's as simple as importing and replacing it with our logo. I recommend always importing the image in PNG format without a background. Now connect the node with the PNG image of our logo to the Merge One node. And voila! We now have our logo with the particle effect. It has been a challenging task, but in the end, we connected a node with an image. All right, now if we go back to the editing module and play the video, we can see that indeed, we have our logo with the particle effect. We just need to customize the lower title. To modify it, click on the clip, and in the inspector menu, Type the text you desire. I'll put DaVinci Resolve. Choose the font and color you want. There you have it. The logo with the title is now finished. In addition to changing the logo and titles, we can modify other aspects, such as the direction of the particles or the brightness intensity. This is the good part of having the entire Fusion project. We can modify anything. For example, 
for this logo, I think it would look better if the particles moved to the right instead of falling downward. Modifying this is very easy. Just click on the Directional Force 1 node and adjust the direction. Instead of putting minus 90, I'll put a value of 0. This way, we'll make the particle effect move to the right. Experiment and customize as much as possible to make the effect unique. Perfect! Now you know how Envato Elements title and logo templates work. But there's much more DaVinci Resolve material to download on their website, such as LUTs or transitions. Remember that in the video description and pinned comment, I'll leave all the links. I've been searching for transition effects, and this is one of the best transition packs I've found for DaVinci Resolve. Let's take a look. When we open this project with DaVinci Resolve transitions in the media pool, we'll see all of these sections with different effects and transitions. The good thing about these transitions is that they're quite different from other DaVinci Resolve packs I've seen. And when added, they also include sound effects. I'll try a light leaks transition. Let's see how it looks. Let's try them out in a mini edit I've prepared so you can see how they work. We search for a light transition that fits well with our video. This one here might work well. Select the transition and drag it onto our timeline right above the cut between the clips. To use these specific transitions, we need to decompose the compound clip. Click on the clip, select Decompose in place. Choose the option Using Only Clips. Perfect! Now we have the transition with the sound effect. Finally, delete this orange clip containing the sample photo. Let's see how it looks. Not bad. Now I'll show you a little trick you can use with these or any light leaks transition. For example, let's say we want to create a transition with lights between these two clips. If we review the transition, we have a car with red lights, a transition with orange light, and finally, a car with blue lights. For the transition to look more natural, the light leak should match the color of the car lights. In other words, it should be red or blue. Well, we don't have blue transitions. See you in the next video. Just kidding. Here's the trick, and it's quite simple. You can use it with any light transition you have. Go to the color module in DaVinci Resolve and make sure you've selected the video clip with the light leak. It's this clip here. Navigate to the Curves panel and open the Hue versus Hue menu by clicking on this small icon here. Now, simply change the color you want, in this case, orange to blue. Great. Let's see the final results with all the transitions. Not bad, it looks like a TV commercial. In addition to all the templates and effects for DaVinci Resolve on Envato Elements, you can also download stock videos, music for your videos, sound effects, fonts, and if you use After Effects or Premiere, you'll also find countless templates. In After Effects, it works exactly the same. Replace the sample logo with yours, and voila! You have your professional intro with your logo. And the best part is that the subscription is not expensive at all. You pay $16.50 per month and can download and use everything you want. You can subscribe for a month when you have many edits or projects and unsubscribe whenever you want. If you ask me personally, Envato Elements is a resource website for editors that is well worth it and that I've used on different occasions. It works for clients or in my own productions. For example, the animated arrows and indicators you see in each tutorial, I downloaded them from this website. In case you prefer to buy the products directly, you also have the option of the Envato Market website. There, you can directly purchase the effect you need. My recommendation is to check out the website yourself so you can see everything it offers. If you eventually decide to subscribe to Envato Elements, remember that in the video description you have all the links to the effects I used in this video. And that's it for today. See you in the next video.